Hello beautiful ones, gods, goddesses, divine creators, welcome in. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm going to start off with some charms and then we're going to use these giant cards and we're going to get into the classical energies. You are all timeless and magnificent and I'm feeling very timeless today. I'm feeling very ancient and very ooh, connected to all of those ancient lives. So I'm going to start with the charms. And do excuse the clinking. I try and keep it to a minimum. It sounds awful on the videos, but uh, let's see what's coming out today. Okay. Okay, dice. Let's roll it. Okay, we've got the north node. Yes, that's what we want to see. Okay. Lavender rose. Okay, so this is all about feeding yourself. And what I'm getting with this, this milk carton is it's all about what you're focusing on at the moment. And I feel like it's really healthy for people to realize that what they focus on, they create more of in their reality. So this is about refining your focus and only focusing on those things that make you feel good. And I feel like someone really needs to hear that you are immortal and that the current modern day crap that you see in the media and the news, it's meaningless and it is designed to zap your power. So someone needs to refine their focus and focus on the things that they really find beautiful. We've got the panda bear here. So I'm getting TLC, you could need to comfort yourself. And again, this is related to the things you're focusing on. They want you to know that your mind is your temple and what you feed your mind is so important here. We've got this North Node energy coming out. So I feel like someone is redirecting themselves onto their true pathway, following their own higher self. And what happens so often in the modern world is that people are tempted off of their North Node pathway going forward and they're tempted off to the left. Yeah, only thinking through logic and rationality. So I feel like someone is really activating their heart chakra. And again, they're saying what you focus on decides whether you will be deactivated or whether you will be etherealized and powerful and magical. We've got the baby here. So I'm getting this energy of you being refreshed and maybe you're gonna start a new plan. I'm getting this energy of you writing things down, planning things, scripting things, planning a transformation here, a whole new slate lovely energy. I love a good transformation. And we've got the bottle cap here, which is telling me that you're in for some good luck. And Spirit's saying we create our luck through what we focus on and how magical our auric field actually gets. So I feel like someone's going to be just treating themselves. And you know what's funny in this life? We feel like we've got to focus on crappy things and get pulled into what other people have already created. But this is powerful energy of someone who's revamping their life. I, I'm seeing them digging up pavements here in my mind's eye. Like, you know those concrete things that get the concrete up and repave the whole road? So there's something about you repaving your mind, repaving everything in your life and realizing that you're here to focus on the things that make you feel joyful. And when you focus on those things that make you feel joyful, you become magic. And for anyone out there who wants to change the world by focusing on problems, you're not changing the world by focusing on the problems. You're simply adding focus psychic energy to the problem which makes the problem bigger this is an energy of someone who is blossoming in their auric field pulling in energies from the non-physical by focusing on what they find joyful which does far more for the world than any worrying could ever do so this is beautiful energies of refreshment self-care self-nourishing and getting onto that beautiful lit up north node pathway using both sides of your brain not just the rational part the logical part but the magical part the right side of the brain which connects us to the ethers and it's the creative part the intuitive part that which they call the feminine so there's a lovely energy of you blending all of these energies together and focusing on those beautiful things that make you feel uplifted and ripple out energies all around you in a gorgeous way. Okay, we've got this lavender rose, so gentility I'm getting from this. It's a good time for you to be gentle with yourself. And again, that word refinement is coming out. So being very fussy about what you allow to pull your focus, I feel like is so important here. Give me the word garden. So someone could be spending time in a garden. And this also speaks of you cultivating your inner garden, your inner temple. You could be visualizing 
your inner world and creating a, a gorgeous world in your imagination. And they want you to know that what you imagine as your inner temple is real. Your imagination and your focus is a powerful creative tool. So everything you imagine you're creating, it exists in non-physical. And what's more, anyone you love and care about in non-physical gets to experience everything you create with your mind before it manifests in your reality. So if I sit here and I imagine a beautiful utopia, I know that the power of my mind has created that for the non-physicals who I love to enjoy that. Not that they particularly need it, but you know, they've got a beautiful world back there anyway, but we are building that beautiful non-physical world via our focus in the physical. So we're very important creators. I'm getting the word artist, so we could have an artist watching. And they're saying indulge in, in what you feel like doing don't feel the need to fall into worry and fall into things that are going to pull your mind down in frequency because you have the passion for a reason and you know trusting that when you follow those beautiful passions that it will be rewarded much more than allowing yourself to flow down into what i call the modern era of worry and stress and panic they're saying don't do that they're saying float on up into your north node and have that faith that the universe must match your frequency when you follow the urge of your soul. Okay, we've got the tower here. So there's that energy of revamping, letting the old stuff go and, and building something completely new. So I feel like it's about time this tower hits somebody because often when people have been pulled out of their magic, when they've been de-etherealized, when they've been forced, or <laughs> when they have being coerced into simply living using one side of their brain we get these tower moments which are beautiful opportunities for us to re-etherialize and, and they're telling you this points upwards like the north node like when we follow that star in the sky that follows the tower the star energy follows the tower because everything that is not balanced with source must go because we deserve magic and we deserve happiness and we deserve pleasure Happiness is our natural state as cherubima, as portions of source energy. So I feel like someone's giving up. They keep just giving me the left-hand pathway or, you know, the linear pathway, the scientific pathway, the pathway of just pure, dead, flat rationality. Someone's giving that up and allowing their magic to become anchored in. This is going to totally redirect your life and allow you to be who you really are is what I'm getting here. So... I'm using my beautiful Persian deck, the Tarot of the Thousand and One Nights, and we're going to see what the message is to go along with this beautiful transformation. And again, that classical energy is coming through very beautifully. Okay, we've got the lovers here. So this is about following the path with the heart. Now, I'm getting this message of transfiguration, transformation. I feel like your thoughts must transform and I feel like you're in the process of transforming your thoughts realizing that the things you love doing aren't indulgences they're your birthright so I feel like there's this energy of someone who maybe feels like they're being spoiled or like they're indulging too much when they follow their heart and spirit is saying no you are here to follow your heart you're not here to get dragged into anyone else's rules and this is about somebody switching from other people's rules, the things that they want you to do, the way they've told you to live, and following universal law, allowing that heart to pour into your reality. And so you're going to win when you do this. It just takes a bit of faith to break off from the old patterns of thinking, to break away from the fear and the worry of thinking, oh no, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, and just literally letting yourself flow. They're saying this is going to really allow you to win but i feel like your nervous system could be rebelling against this a little bit it's just wiring spirits saying these are just old patterns of thought that are dissolving out much like this tower must fall because we all must head back to source it's it's home it's it's a signal that's going to keep on calling us and the universe is going to keep on showing us where we don't belong until we get on track, until we get the memo and get the hint and start living from our etheric nature, from a place of love, right? We've got the eight of pentacles. So there's that energy. I feel like someone could be switching up career or really anchoring themselves into their true spiritual devoted calling is what I'm getting with this eight of pentacles. So you could be really musing on career and things like that. 
I'm going to start my clock because I do like to be given signs from spirit to look at the numbers when it's appropriate. So I've just started that now. We're on eight seconds. I forgot to do it at the beginning, but there we go. There's a reason for everything here. So let's have a look. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is all about where you're investing. And I feel like you've tried to invest in things before and spirit keeps on letting you know, uh-uh, wrong pathway, you know, like things go wrong when we're on the wrong pathway because we're meant to be happy. I'm hearing gifted, the word gifted. So you've been given a gift and spirit saying it's about time that you use it because you keep getting signs over and over again that something is not for you. Once people understand that they're supposed to be happy, they're supposed to be joyful, then it makes sense that the universe will keep bringing us disappointments until we realign ourselves to our true north. And I feel like that's what you're doing at the moment. What else? They don't want you making any investments in things that will just disappoint you, right? They want you, yeah, page of wands, they want you really committing yourself to the soul's journey and to the true essence of your soul here. Because the more you keep investing in something that the world has already told you is not for you, it's gonna keep collapsing and collapsing and collapsing. So they want you to have confidence in yourself here and really invest in what your soul knows is its true purpose. We've got the page of wands here. So this is all about passion. They're giving me the word faith here. So this is about having faith that when you make the move, when you decide to be the powerful one, you tell the universe what you're creating and then the universe paves the way. But this takes faith to step out of someone else's world and step into your own world, the world that you get to create. It's your birthright. And you own the space of your mind. You, you were given consciousness. You are consciousness. There's almost an energy here of you feeling overpowered by outside forces at other points in your life. And it's so easy for that to happen to all of us. Hence, we have the term initiated being. An initiated being has to go through many, many chambers of the mind. And we have to sort of wrangle ourselves out of the system that others created for us and really hold our ground and really understand we have free will and our consciousness belongs to us. And we have directive control so someone needs to hear that you have directive control and when you make that move with faith and passion and inspiration the road will be paved for you it must be you are an extension of source energy you are an extension of that which we call god and you have the power god trusts you to create the reality you want because you are it and it is you King of Pentacles here. So there's that good luck and that stability I see. Because the King of Pentacles, with all these references they're giving me about paving roads and digging up the pavement and creating your own pathway, I'd say the King of Pentacles is a master of this. He's a master of bringing what he wants into reality. And he sits at the top of the pyramid of creation, operating from his highest nature knowing he's immortal and knowing that the universe must respond to his directives okay so this is about being the alchemist of your own reality and allowing the magic to fill up your magnetic field they're saying watch what happens when you do this full confidence they're saying be, be cocky if you have to because so often we've been conditioned in school or whatever to feel like we're being bad when we're just being ourselves. and they're saying you've got to be yourself or things will keep collapsing until you get those ballsy energies in place and you're like, no, this is my life, you know? So I feel like you're having a real, they're giving me resurgence. Like you are who you are, but maybe it's been locked out for a while. Maybe you felt like you're being naughty, just being who you are. But au contraire, you are here to be unique. You are here to live the life you want to live. They're saying, take your mind out of this idea of society and the earth because you are immortal and your consciousness has been around a long, long time and you have the right to alchemize and create your reality. And I see that this is going to go really well for you with the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. This is about really following that heart and breaking through, being rebellious if you need to, because often we feel like we're being rebellious or we feel like we're being brats or we feel like we're being naughty when we do what comes natural to us. And that's because of other people being control freaks, right? They say, let the control freaks go. This is your life. You've got to, they keep giving me the word pagan. So you've got to be like Ragnar Lothbrok. You've got to be 
so powerful, so strong. No one owns you, you are your own and you have this freedom and this independence to go in any direction you feel is right for you. They're pulling me to the boat here. This actually kind of looks a little bit like a Viking boat. So I feel like you're voyaging in the right direction once you start having that confidence to really go for it and be ballsy, they keep giving me this, this energy of, yeah, be ferocious, be ballsy, go for your dreams. We don't get much time on this planet. And, you know, I feel like you've got some real alchemical gifts that need to be made manifest. We've got the Knight of Cups here. So again, this is an energy of the movement, of the energy of the heart. And I feel like you know which direction you want to go in. It's just a case of ignoring any outside influences that aren't completely 100% cheering you on. Spirit's saying they're irrelevant. You know, they're absolutely irrelevant. And this is about you cheerleading yourself and being your own number one supporter. Nine of Pentacles there. There's more security. And this is your independent energy manifest with the nine of pentacles we don't get to the nine of pentacles when we live the way other people want us to live we simply become a drone in their system because it suits them for us to do that this is about you bringing your immortal gifts onto the earth plane and allowing them to flourish okay we've got the hanged man here called the bound man and you can see and he's even pulling this guy if you turn it around this guy has been pulled over to the left right and you need to take the chain off someone's got a chain around them an etheric chain that they need to break out of in a really powerful and confident way nine of pentacles four of swords with the two of pentacles so i feel like you will get your rest when you prove to yourself that you're in control of your reality and shut out all those old thought programs other people's energy it's almost like there's voices that we can hear <laughs> not audibly but it's almost like you've got this recording in your mind of other people's expectations this often happens with our parents for example i mean my parents are pagan they would never dare tell me what to do it's just inherent in my culture to be given that independence but maybe you know you have maybe controlling parents or you've had controlling people around you or maybe it's just society which hypnotizes us we live in a completely hypnotic state we've got dmt in every cell of our bodies we live within a dream and i feel like it's time for you to get onto that beautiful loving pathway especially with the knight of cups and the lovers this is all about you transmuting your reality by being defiant being defiantly you and, and completely fearless and knowing that the universe responds when we're brave, when we're powerful, when we flow that energy out, it must return to us in equal measure, if not more, right? Because we're always expanding. So they're saying whatever you put into this new start, whatever oomph you put in, it will return to you tenfold is what I'm being given here. So they're saying trust, have faith, Put your big balls on and go for it here. Let's have a look at the Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles again, my darling. So something about your gifts and manifesting your gifts and allowing yourself to be who you truly are, standing true in your essence, which is unique. You're not supposed to be like anyone else. You bring in unique energies. You're like a unique flower that will only bloom once. As much as I talk about immortality, the vessel you chose from a non-physical perspective holds unique energy that when in combination with your higher self creates a unique bloom. And I feel like you are absolutely desperate to bloom in your own unique way. And I feel like it's got to burst out of you. It just has to. Like the flames coming off of this tower here. I feel like you are, you're on the verge of this huge, huge breakthrough. And I'm hearing laughter. So this is all about joy. This is all about you getting into that energy. They're giving me loot lounge. So this is about you blossoming creating fruit and feeling like you are in heaven every day heaven on earth it's you know it's so funny because what they're telling me is it's not that far of a jump as much as you may have experienced things that must crumble things that are too low vibrational for you to maintain they're saying it's not that far over into this gifted pathway it'll be a lot easier than you think it will be because it's natural for you to be who you are it's just a case of letting yourself off the hook and letting yourself flow down the river that you actually belong in especially with this knight of cups i feel like the river's going to be flowing it's funny they were giving me those 
pavement references. But I feel like the minute you anchor in your heart's desire, and I feel like this is career, but you know, we alchemize our realities. I, I don't like separating career and love and did it because we aren't, we aren't robots. We're not supposed to separate everything. Your life is your life. And it's like the movie of your life. And I feel like once you anchor in that gifted heart's purpose and you fully commit yourself to it, it gets the river flowing because it's your consciousness that controls it. And I feel like your consciousness needs to be lit up in happiness and love when it comes to what you're doing and how you're alchemizing in your abundance. Let's have a look at the lovers here. Knight of Swords, so there's that energy of quick movement. Once you decide who you are, once you decide you are free to move as you wish, you are immortal, it moves very quickly. Now they're giving me this energy of your higher self merging with the human nature, knowing that you picked your human vessel from a non-physical perspective should help you ease the human part of you along on this journey. There's something about you holding the hand of your human self, which is a phrase I like to use because the non-physical part of us really does pick this physical vessel because it has faith in that human. It's like, you know what, I'm going to pick you. I'm going to play the role of you. But we are all, all dual creatures. We all have that Gemini and energy simply because the human part of us could exist without our soul having chosen it so there's something about you understanding that the human part of you may need to be coaxed along by your higher self who is immortal and powerful and i feel like being aware of that could help you iron out any creases when it comes to any anxiety and stuff like that that was just the four of cups popping over there so i feel like there's something you're just over and done with you're really over it you don't want to do it anymore and if you don't leave the situation that your soul knows is not for you the universe will help you out by making sure something happens to get it out of your reality the universe is very determined that we anchor in our gifts and we feel free to blossom in our uniqueness and in our giftedness so there's a real determined energy here spirit show me a boot the universe will always be tough on us and pull us back to source energy. So something about toughness here and getting on with something with that energy of hardness. They're giving me Saturn. We've got to honor Saturn. We've got to honor Pluto and Neptune, which is piety as hell. But there's something about transformation here with Pluto being at the top of the tree of life. We must adapt. We must transform or we, we will be forced into it. And uh, we have to keep up with that. We have to honor the life cycle is what I'm getting here. Show me the seven of pentacles. Yeah, this is about getting out of allowing the human to control you, the human part of you that could exist as what they call an NPC without the soul having chosen it. But your soul cho chose your human for a reason is what I'm getting here. And it's about you allowing that higher nature to run the show here. That's when the power starts flooding in is what I'm getting. Yeah, Ace of Cups. There's that crown chakra activation when you embrace transformation. The river starts flowing. So this is all about investing in what you love with the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Let's have a look at the Page of Wands because this is you creating a new pathway via inspiration and passion and the willingness to stand your ground in your uniqueness and not answering to anyone else but yourself and the divine right five of wands there we go you've got to be willing to stand in these energies if you want to be happy in your reality and i feel like you're doing it i feel like you're psyching yourself up you're motivating yourself you could be scripting you could be drawing up plans or doing a mood board they're saying whatever you can imagine you can create but they are saying, hold on to that feeling of, of the fight. Because if we really whittle it down and we get to the root of things in our society, I was doing this as a kid thinking, well, what gives you the right to tell me how to live? Who gave you the authority? And the answer is nobody. They give themselves the authority because they're control freaks. And I feel like you're breaking out of this, being feisty, being fiery, using the Leo nine energies. Leo energies represent the five of wands. And we can't get the crown with the six of wands if we're not willing to stand and potentially fight for what we want. This could mean fighting parts of ourself that want us to not do what we know we're here to do. It's that inner child that just wants comfort. So they're saying, allow your higher nature to comfort your inner child 
and remind your inner child that you are tough and bring that inner child energy on board. Let's have a look at this King of Pentacles because this is stability coming in. This is you having mastered it. This is you seeing reality shifting around you once you anchor in this powerful, powerful energy. Six of Pentacles. So this is about you working in tandem with the universe. The universe wants us to work in tandem with our non-physical counterpart. The universe wants us to understand that our right brain connects us to the ether and that people in the world may have a vested interest in keeping us de-etherealized, keeping us flat, keeping us depressed. It makes us ill. You know, there's a domino effect when we aren't anchored in magic, but the universe is very determined that you pull your gifts in and bring them into the physical. And they're saying, this is what you always planned on. You know, people plan from a non-physical perspective to bring in their gifts and to be ballsy and to do all the fiery things they want to do. And then when they get here, they experience that influence, the influence of others. Oftentimes it's people we've never met, you know, and I don't give them any influence over me, but it is hypnotic down here. So spirit does understand that, but they're saying it's about time you just went for it. Leap of faith, they're giving me the full card energy here. And we do have the page of wands on the table, which is like a mini fool. So I feel like something you've been doing, you've already kind of maybe planned it out or maybe you've already made steps towards it but they want you to fully commit now and take that leap of faith go for what you know is yours to go for let's have a look at the knight of cups there we go nine of cups on the table so it's only when we follow our heart that we can get nine cups full of wish fulfillment and then when we're fulfilled we flow that energy out all around us they're saying the things you do now create the world that you are going to reincarnate into in the future. So we need to make sure we're going in the right direction because we're going to have to come back in different vessels and experience what we created here. So they're giving me eye of the tiger. Really going for your dreams here. Time is of the essence is what I'm getting. And they're not saying that to rush or panic anyone, but they just want us to be fearless in our now moment and know that we can never die. We can just go home to non-physical, realize that all of our fears were misplaced and think, God, when I go back again, I want to do it properly. And that's the energy I'm getting here of someone who wants to do it properly. And I feel like you're going to do it with the nine of cups and two nine of pentacles on the table. It's your life, my darling. And spirit really wants to impress this on you. You don't need human support. You don't need human approval. You have the full approval from your higher self and from the divine realm. And this is your life. This is you manifesting your dream on earth. And they're saying, don't let any of those dumb hippies make you feel guilty for you know wanting to have a beautiful life if they want to sit around in a meadow because they've been programmed to do so and ultimately dumb hippies are leeching off of pagan culture but they have none of the saturnian toughness required to actually you know do anything decent so i feel like maybe you've been influenced by people who act like they're virtuous but they're actually disrespecting the cultures they've leached off of without even realizing it there's something about you not listening to these modern day idiots who are mostly narcissists, by the way, and they pretend to be virtuous. So this is about you breaking out of any patterns of thinking that have been influenced by other people who, might I add, aren't the ones who are gonna have to answer for your decisions. Only we answer for our own unique individual decisions. Our hearts are weighed against the feather on an individual level. So something about you being an individual here and your life is your responsibility, no one else can have undue influence on your life unless you let them, all right? So let's have a look at this Nine of Pentacles energy. Nine, nine, nine on the table. No way, baby, no way. Okay, so we've got the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles from two different decks here. It is destined that you manifest this, okay, in a really physicalized way. You could have earth placements in your birth chart that are very relevant here because there's a lot of earth on the table. And they're saying, don't feel guilty for wanting money. Money is a, a currency. It's an extension of our minds. It only exists in our mind as an, ex an extension of self. So all these people saying, money doesn't bring you freedom. I get these little idiots leaving me comments on my on my tarot station, you know, my ancestors brought these keys of tarot over from Egypt and these hippies think that they can disrespect the pentacles 
on my station, but they, these are people that grew up with parents that fed them every day. These are people that live in little suburban bubbles who don't know what real danger is. They've never faced Pluto. They've never been in the underworld. They don't know about Saturn and Neptune. They just want to look virtuous online. So I don't know why that's coming up, but I feel like, you know, these people, they've got the biggest mouths and the least knowledge. So this is about you embracing currency, embracing the pentacles. You need to live. It's so easy for people who've always been safe and always had money to judge people who want money because they've always had it. They've already got it, right? But, you know, what I always say is someone wrote a comment on my on my thing recently and they said, you need money to escape abuse. And I'm like, I know, my darling, I know. Anyone on the planet who is suffering around abusive people and they feel trapped and they feel like they're in hell, if someone deposited £50,000 in their bank, they'd be free, right? So money does equal freedom in the realm. And Spirit's saying it's about time people just embraced this and accepted this. Money's going nowhere. And it's actually a really simple way of us establishing value and keeping, you know, everything measured properly. So... I don't know who needs to hear that, but there's nothing wrong with money, okay? And it's good to love money. It's good to love that which we have created. And I feel like you are destined for wealth here. There's so much wealth here. And there's a very cushy, cozy energy here. So I'm get, getting that this is why they're telling you to focus out the morons who don't know what they're talking about. Because it's always the narcs who've got the biggest mouths and, you know, they try and hypnotize people into living the way they want. They're not even conscious. They're just drones. They just robotically spew the same old crap over and over again. There's something here about you creating your own paradise because we've got the Four of Swords here. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords. I feel like you really deserve some sort of sanctuary in your life and you're creating it. They're saying just anchor in that love. Do the thing you know you're supposed to do and watch how the universe repays you, my darling, for moving in tandem with the divine. They're saying shut out the human voices. They're morons. They need to worry about their spiritual work. And this is about you pulling in this loving energy for some sort of project or some sort of direction that you want to take. And it's going to bring you sanctuary and new opportunities I'm getting with this two of pentacles. Yeah, we've got the three of wands here with the four of swords. So again, that energy of voyaging, moving somewhere differently and focusing wholeheartedly on what will bring you comfort and respite. I feel like is uh, that's the key here. Indulge yourself in all those things you love the most. That's why we're here. That's why we come here. The universe is a buffet of opportunity. And they're saying be very discerning with what you focus on because there's a lot of things out there that you don't want to focus on and bring more of into your life. But uh, I see you harnessing your power here, pointing your focus towards that which will bring you comfort and security long term. Let's have a look at this two of pentacles. There we go, baby. There's those new opportunities, trying new things out. And I feel like this is coming after a big burst of money with the king of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and it's beautiful this is you freeing yourself and living in your immortal nature trying things out with your higher self fully anchored in so i feel like this has been a beautiful reading and yeah they're giving me deprogramming you've got to stop feeling guilty for doing what the divine wants you to do right you can't listen to men you've got to listen to the gods is what i'm getting here fight prowess achieved five of wands energy you've got to be willing to fight for what is essentially you fight for the for the right to exist your consciousness is unique and you came here for a reason you don't have to blend in with others you've got to fight and they're showing me your consciousness expanding and becoming bigger maybe you've been shrinking yourself down too much this is all about doing the opposite this is about radiating your power and knowing that you're allowed to be unique and the ones that stand in their uniqueness are the ones that get the full support from the divine because they tune themselves to that level of consciousness. It's like a TV. Spirit wants you on the penthouse channel, not in the basement, right? And there we have it. We've got contentment. There are so many nines on this table. The nine of hearts, the nine of cups, and the nine of pentacles twice. So they're saying go get her, go be a go get her and go for your dreams, baby. This has been beautiful. I hope this has helped somebody. Lots of love. Mwah.